Hello kids, Steve coming back at you for Wager Wednesday. My free picks in football for this whole first week of the NFL season. But first, let's see how I did with my few college picks from last week. I don't know college much except for the Badgers, so to me it was okay. Four wins, two losses, and one outstanding bet for the year, which was kind of silly, but I take that I lost that one too. I did pick KU to lose to no matter who they're playing, and they just trounced Tennessee Tech this weekend. But my other picks, I had Mizzou beaten Louisiana Tech. That was a good one. That happened. So did Arkansas over Cincinnati. Ohio State did not kill Notre Dame, but they did beat Notre Dame. That's a win. My other win, I had Wisconsin beating Illinois State. The point spread was 37.5. Wisconsin threw a shutout and still covered that point spread. That's a win, because I don't do the points for you guys. Just my own betting purposes. But that's pretty cool. I did lose TCU over Colorado. Never saw that coming. And I lost Boston College. Uh, they lost to Rutgers. Urgh. Oh well. On to the good stuff. So, for the first game on Thursday night... I do have the Rams beating the Bills. I'm going against Vegas on this. The Rams have a younger, better team. And they're coming off a Super Bowl win. Yeah, they lost Von Miller to the Bills. But they picked up Khalil Mack. That's a win-win right there. Then I have the Bengals over the Steelers because why wouldn't you? Steelers are disarray, and the Bengals have a great young team if everyone stays healthy and keeps their appendix in check. Ravens over the Jets because, well, the Ravens will beat the Jets. There's no question there. Take to the bank. My hot sauce pick of the week. And if I ever lose a hot sauce pick of the week, you'll see on the very next week what that means. I have the Panthers beating the Browns. That's right. The quarterback change from the Browns in Baker Mayfield to the Panthers well, the Browns are kind of in disarray for at least 11 weeks. Thank you, Massage Parlors. I do have the Dolphins beating the Patriots. That one kills me, like Mac Jones. But I hate Bill Chick. Sorry. Eh. Dolphins, on the other hand, if Tua could learn to throw accurately for over eight yards at a time, Tyree Kill is going to be a force. Saints over to Falcons. Well, let's give it up to the Crab King. I have the Saints winning. That's right, James Winston, you're going to get a win over the Falcons because what were they doing with their quarterback situation? 49ers over the Bears. That's an easy one, too, because I hate the Bears. We have the Texans beating the Colts. Um, I shouldn't. I do not. I have the Colts beating the Texans. Typo. Sorry about that. Typo. I have the Texans losing to the Colts. Eagles over the Lions because they're still in Detroit. Enough said. Alex Carras is dead. The Commanders over the Jaguars because I don't believe in what's his name? Trevor Lawrence. Um, the Commanders don't have the world's best team, but they're not the world's worst. They'll finish probably a game or two below 500, which for them is good. New name, new look, a few more wins. And then we come up Chargers over the Raiders. That's right. I got Herbert and company just coming up big in this one. You, you mark my words on that one. What trips my trigger? Two young quarterbacks with Two very large contracts we have. Patty Mahomes and the Chiefs. They're going to take it to Kyla Murray. Former first round pick of the Oakland A's, by the way, too. To beat the Cardinals. That's right, Kyla Murray. Only player in history out of two sports to be drafted in the top ten in each. Baseball and football. No one's done it for any two sports. Dave DeBuscher came close. White Sox and Celtics. But... Didn't do it. Then we have my guys. Let's go. I'm going 
with Vegas on this one, they only have a one and a half point spread, but I'm taking the Green Bay Packers to beat Minnesota in Minnesota. I mean, you just can't replace Aaron Rodgers with anybody. And Minnesota still doesn't have an answer for him. Two to go, two and two. We have the Cowboys beating the Buccaneers. I hate the Cowboys, but Tom Brady is not high on my guest list. And finally, we have the Broncos to destroy the Seahawks. Another change of quarterbacks. Drew Locke from Denver to Seattle. For Russell Wilson, former Wisconsin Badger, going to the Broncos. He's been in the league 10 years, and then he signs... Uh, was a six-year extension or five-year extension through 2028 for an insane amount of money. Those are my picks. Remember, I do have a hot sauce pick of the week in there. That is the Panthers to beat the Browns. And the Cowboys are my upset pick of the week. So, I'd like to see what you think. List your predictions for the NFL down below. I know our good friend Living Room is going to have a couple CFL picks for us. Those are always fun games to watch. Better than arena football anyway. But guys, hey, thank you much. Wager Wednesday. It's happening. See you later.